away from St. Louis, Missouri, please join me in welcoming the pastor of Love Alive Ministries, District Elder Earl Anthony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give honor to God for being the head of my life. I thank and praise the Lord for being able to be uh, able to take part in this convention. Amen. Amen. The Pentecostal Assembly of Believers. Yes. I give honor to the Lord for our presiding pre-laid and for his wife. Amen. First Lady Sandra Holland. Amen. I thank and praise God. Amen. For all the bishops and the pastors that are in the sanctuary even at this time. And for all the saints and friends, ministers, deacons. Amen. Just thank and praise God for everyone that's here. Amen. That song, God is. Amen. That song, she sang me happy. Amen. In the Lord. You know, ministry, amen, comes through music also. Amen. And you know, when she was singing that song, I began to think of everything God is. Enjoyed that song. Thank you, thank you. Yes, God. Amen. Yes, God. I thank and praise the Lord for the word. Amen. On this morning. Amen. I'm uh, going to uh, talk about uh, a little bit about true deliverance. Okay. Amen. I want you to have your Bible to turn with me to Matthew. Amen. The 12th chapter. And we're going to start at the 22nd verse. Amen. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And the word of God says in Matthew, the 12th chapter, beginning at the 22nd verse, it says, Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him, insomuch that the blind and the dumb both spake and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils. By whom do our children cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judges. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right there. Amen. We're going to talk a little bit today about true deliverance. Uh, you know, as we look at today's world and today's society, amen, that um, the devil uh, tries to take over. Amen. He tries to uh, get into our family lives and take over. And the reason for this is because he wants everything that God wants from us. Amen. That God wants praise. 
uh, Satan wants to come in and get praise. Amen. That uh, the devil wants honor. He wants to steal God's honor. And when we look at what's going on around us, it's very disturbing. Uh, you know, in the city that I live in, every time I turn the news on, there are young people being murdered. It was a time that you used to just hear that every now and then that somebody young got killed or got hit by a car and normally it was something that was, uh, you know, just a simple accident. You know, they fell in the pool and drowned and things like that. But now when you look at the news, you see that uh, the children are really under attack. That every time that you uh, turn the news on, you see that it's teenagers that got shot. Amen. That they, that they uh, uh, were in some type of violent situation that caused them to lose their life running from the police after uh, jacking somebody out of their vehicle or trying to hold up the store around the corner. You know, these are things that are, 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 are happening all around us. And a lot of times uh, uh, we don't take notice of them uh, until it gets close to home. A lot of times we don't take notice of the things that's going on, amen, uh, uh, out in the street until it gets your household, until somebody in your family starts to acting crazy or doing something wrong. But I want to get it in your mind today that, uh, that we should look at the things that's going on around us. That we should be more aware of the spirit that's trying to creep in because this is how the devil creeps in. Amen. He doesn't come and announce himself and say that I'm about to walk up in your house right now and I'm about to take over your children. He doesn't announce himself and say that I'm getting ready to touch the mind of your husband or your wife and I'm going to cause them to start doing things against this relationship that's going to cause them to want to leave or back out. Amen. He doesn't come and announce these type of things. Right? right? But what he does, he creeps in. He creeps in. And he tries to come as a thief. Amen. And like the robber comes, they come unaware and, and try to slip into our lives and cause uh, 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 the situation to turn around for the worse, not for the better. So what I look at I look at the fact of the matter that uh, the word is trying to get us to understand some things, amen, even about our situations. Now, when we look at uh, uh, our family situations, you know, I'm a father, I've got six uh, children, six daughters. And when uh, I look at my daughters, they're all different. Every one of them's got a different mindset. Every one of them uh, has a different personality. Uh, I've got one daughter that's very conscious of what's going on around her, and, and she wants to go to school, and she wants to work, and you know, she works two jobs, and she goes to college, and she, uh, uh, she tries to make her life better. I've got other children that don't do that. Amen. I've got some other ones. I've got other ones that's in school too. But the thing is, I've got some that just don't care. You know, and what happens is they, they, they're getting more and seemingly like they're getting more and more immune to what I say. That the more I talk about God, the more they put him in the background. The more that I tell them that the Lord wants to save you, the more they don't want to hear it. So what I've done, I've kind of backed off, amen, and I save all that stuff for Sunday, amen. When I get up on Sunday, you're going to get it, amen, but I'm not just going to give it to you personally, but I'm still going to let you have it because I don't want you to miss out on what God has for you. What I see going on is that the devil is trying to make our children miss their blessings. And stop them from truly being delivered. How is this happening? When you turn on the television, men are holding hands. Amen. Hugging one another and kissing one another. Amen. Women doing the same thing. And it's creeping up where? In the church. It creeps in. 